just wanted to get an overview of the control room. This is the control room, and this is the, uh, what would you call this, your control panel? Yes. Uh, it's all touch screen controlled. Here's the computer for it. Okay, so, so now, now we're going to do the dip tank. So that's a green, see there's that green that I was trying oh, to okay, show you right. earlier. Unfortunately, I didn't have the pressure that I have now. So that's a significant change. Okay? I'm ready. So now what I'll do is I'll cut that so you can see what it's supposed to be reacting to, which is the, the air cannon, which is this. Oh, yeah. So it's a little lot, lot better, you know. Right. So um, the whole idea on that is that the, someone had put something that's incompatible with whatever uh, liquid they, ha they have. There, right. Usually it's nitric acid, but it could be anything else. We also have a bubbler system in there that, that is reacting not so violently. So there's a bubbler there. There's a high bubbler. Okay. So you can see it bubbling away. Yeah. So it's reacting with something there. So it's different variations of reactions that we're trying to achieve. Cool. All right. Now, yeah. now that I have the the uh, that going on, and now what I could do is that that back corner where that red. Uh, yeah, maybe. I wonder if I need. Do you want to go down there and do it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, why don't you exp explain what you're going to do, and then I'll okay, run down what there. What we're going to do is we'll fog up that as if we, there's a leak there, and and the holding mechanism that holds those cylinders fails. Okay. So the uh, cylinder will drop and, and roll, and, and the guys will have to mitigate that. Okay, so, so I'm... Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. Simulated fog. Randy's up in the control room uh, pressing all the buttons. Now those are one gallon cans and boxes with crap in it. You know, and you know, if they fall off, they're gonna, it's not labeled. Right. They, they, they you don't pay. know what's in them? That's or? right, exactly. Now what?
You have no idea. Who shows up who may be a night guardman or a, 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 a sheriff on patrol or whatever, you, all the way up to the specialist who kind of knows all about this and what they're supposed to do and what to do and how to mitigate these problems. So what I'll do is I'm going to send off a scenario, first of all. So you're going to hear the... The bad news is once we get things going, it's kind of hard to talk, but I'll, I'll explain to you some of the things. You'll see some barrel launching and some explosions and, th and things like that. And we're going to hold the fire for just a second. So let me set that scenario up. Okay, is there anywhere we have to be? You could be anywhere in this area. Uh, I wouldn't cross that line there or this line here. Okay. Just so that you don't get hurt. That's open and, and it's over there. Yeah. And now they got some. They got them. Obviously, they got. Them. Yeah. Okay. So now they had a drum go for you know go so far into the air. Now they've got to find out what the hell it is. So they've got to get in there and start sampling, and see now it's leaking. Now look at so a drum exploded. So that's already a problem. Now what are you going to do with all this? Now look at sight. You're not going to be able to see anything. Wow. And you got to put people in there to go figure out what this stuff is. And and supposedly not be able to breathe either. No, they're in gear. They're breathing their own air on their backs. Yeah. They're supposedly asked, you can't do this without breathing air. So now it's, there you go. Okay. So now it's leaking out. And so now you got to go resolve that issue. So this drum right here, if it's obvious, this drum has to be put on its side temporarily. You don't do a damn thing with it and you put a chalk in it to lock it down. And then what you got to do is you got to start filtering through this thing to find out what the hell's going on. But how do you do that safely? Okay, so th that scenario there it was waiting for my cue to light the fire. That's why you heard the fire going. Yeah. So now what we'll do is we'll light the fire that you would have seen. Okay. Wow. Okay, so now what? You can't, now you got a challenge now. You've got drums and containers, and now you can't wear chemical protective clothing. Because so of the milk? The yes. Here's the issue with that. What we want the guys to learn is to keep everything cool at a distance. Right. That way we can mitigate this fire. The fire needs to burn out. Or you have to come in with a, a Class B foam. Now, it's going to take 15, 20 minutes for that class to be to get here. So we're not going to, you know, that's why I just want the guys to keep everything else cool. That's the whole idea here. Now, see, he sacrificed the fact that there's these drums or anything else are going. In the fire situation, he sacrificed the fact is, is that our, our, our alternative choice is the fire is a, a higher priority than this. That's why keeping those cool, because those are going to have to be dealt with after this thing gets put out. Right. So now that that puddle fire, and, and like I said, the scenario, if you notice that that barrel drop and that was burbling, and the whole idea there is that it was dumping out this flammable liquid. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll bring these fires down. Notice the heat on your face? Oh, my. It's like... now, that's propane. If I were to run, I, I have the ability to run uh, natural gas here. And I'm, I'm telling you, it is nowhere close to what this BPU is. Really? Oh, yeah, well, it's more, there's more fuel than propane. It's got uh, more hydrogen and more carbon in it. It's a more effective fuel because it's more stuff to burn. And, and the other thing is that I can make this fire go as, as high as I want, you know, or I can bring it as low as I want. Amazing. Amazing. Woo! Now, see, and the other problem is, in bunker gear, 
You know what's, what's really dangerous is the fact is that the air is hot. You breathe hot air. That's why you wear an air pack. They keep your lungs from getting seared. Well, I can see that now. So now put the fire out and, and, and whatever they use to mediate that. Okay. Yeah, now they got to watch it off. Yeah. Yeah. Now the second fire, fire scenario is the is the jets over there. I could shut down the, the, the fog machine, but I really want you to get the, the full effect of the jet here. Okay, and this is a good vantage point? Uh, this is a good vantage point, yeah. Okay, no. so if you want to come in closer, I'll, I'll bring you in closer. Because this is what the whole idea is, these guys. As that, what, what's happening is that's a, some sort of a combustible or flammable uh, a gas that we'll have. And it's compensated with, a, with some sort of a, a fracture at the base or whatever I want it to do. It could be just a thing. And I could make that fire. Oh. There's, there's, there's a manifold back there. If they simply shut the manifold off, I could make that fire go away. Or I could, I could just say the manifold's broken and it goes all the way. Good, good easy. Now they're gonna, now, you figure out now, you think they're gonna walk into that? No way. That's it. Wow. And again, the whole idea is that these guys manipulate and keep things cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this fire down. Now say, say I, I, I'm bringing it down because I want more of an, of an explosion here. So I'm going to set off the explosion here. And what I want them to do is basically they've done something wrong. So now it, it'll explode and it'll go right up into the air. <laughs> He's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> That'll scare the crap out so of So Mike, them. come on, you're going to light this baby off. Okay. So what I want you to do is, yeah. are you right-handed? Uh, I'm left-handed. Left-handed, okay. Yeah. So just keep your thumb on this right here. Okay. And then toggle to the right with this blue one. Okay. And what you're doing is you're setting the, the uh, you're, you're, you're setting the, uh, um, the flame on it. Okay. Well, let me shut it off first. Okay. okay. Now, now go ahead and toggle to the right. Yeah, you release the gas. Yeah. So there it's charging up the, the, the right. press. Okay. You can let that go now. Keep this on. That's your dead man's switch. Okay. And now you kick this up to the right and you're going to hit your jet fire. It's kind of a toggle thing. Yeah, you have to hold it? Yeah. Well, no, it's still. I think it's large so I get a bigger explosion. Leave it right there. Because you want you want to be able to explode that gas coming out at once. Okay. So now when you want when you're ready to explode, just toggle this to the right. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. Woo! Good one. Oh, very <laughs> good. That's <laughs> great. You just let it go. Yeah. Okay. Wow. What a demonstration. Seriously. Now you guys can take a look, and I'll shut off the foggers here. So you can take a look. See that, come here. See now, they're going to have to keep everything cool. But see these? These are high pressure cylinders. Some of them can have, well, figure 4,000 pounds a square inch. Okay. So if they're on fire, they're going to weak the wall, they're going to weaken the wall. And the valves are going to let. Eventually blow. Yeah, some of them. It depends on what they have. Most of them uh, have frangible discs in them, uh, or a fuse, a fuse plug in it. And what happens is it's usually lead and it melts. So, um, so now what you're going to do that is demonstration that you just gave was the uh, one of the uh, cylinders, cylinders going blowing. off. See, so the problem is now with a fire situation because you don't have fire, control of the fire situation you cannot mitigate those uh, valve bodies what you're going to probably have to do is just let them go but you'll get guys for example where there's no fire they'll go in and uh, they're not doing a, a, enough of an assessment in terms of the, the actual fog base 
which is a cloud of something that's supposed to be in there. And those are the kinds of things you got to watch out for because they all, they can incinerate you. Sure. Well, I can feel the heat just coming out. Yeah. warehouse yes okay you can't I'll see much of it can you I'm gonna shut I'm gonna shut everything down so you can see it but okay. this is what they're gonna be working in so this right is what here. they come in so when they arrive. and in they're in the level a suits which means that they can only see like this much anyway and they're on a breathing apparatus so they got two masks so they got two masks okay we're simulating an uh, industrial warehouse and if you're a dwarf and we can't see anything And the last part of my tour of Hazmat City is this simulated freeway. And I'm going to walk down the road here. And in this particular scenario, we have a uh, chemical spill. Uh, it's a truck that's turned over. And they have the capability to release liquids and uh, you know simulate cost of chemical spill on the highway. So we have scenario here where there's an accident and um, like I say they can release liquids and try to do a cleanup of some sort here pretty cool stuff truck and as we finish our tour I just have to pan in on or zoom in on the <laughs> the mile marker to nowhere hazmat city that's where we're at Del Val California <laughs>